This is the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting. On Thursday, December 9th, U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood announced that $1.2 billion in high-speed rail funds originally designated for Wisconsin and Ohio will be redirected to 13 other states. According to the statement, Wisconsin has suspended work under its existing high-speed rail agreement, and the incoming governors in Wisconsin and Ohio have both indicated that they will not move forward to use their portion of $8 billion in recovery funds slated for the development of high-speed and intercity passenger rail projects. $810 million is being redirected from Wisconsin and $385 million from Ohio. Also in the news this week, cold Arctic air blasted almost two-thirds of the nation, causing record low temperatures and major snowfall. The National Weather Service says a La Nina is at least partially responsible, and the agency predicts this weather pattern could cause a second consecutive year of record snowfalls in many parts of the U.S. The challenge for most state transportation departments will be to maintain a high level of service this winter season without the benefit of additional financial resources. Many states have already turned to new technology and environmentally sensitive solutions to cut costs and improve efficiency. For example, the Utah Department of Transportation says it's already saved $200,000 this winter season using a solar-powered system of low-cost web cameras to broadcast video from distant mountain passages, allowing supervisors to take a quick look instead of a long drive to determine if an area needs plowing. A highly efficient 26-foot wide tow plow that pulls behind a conventional plow truck is another innovation being used by a growing number of states. It allows two interstate travel lanes to be cleared and treated in a single pass. ASHTO Executive Director John Horsley said, innovation and efficiency will be critical this year as states battle the winter weather. The severe 2009-2010 season caused states to suffer a major financial blow, and all indications are state budgets will remain tight throughout 2011. Motorists are also encouraged to carry an emergency kit in their cars and stay up to date on road conditions by visiting state DOT websites. A complete list of those sites is available at www.transportation.org. When the 112th Congress convenes January 5th, Florida Representative John Micah will begin serving his term as chairman of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Micah, who has served as the committee's ranking member for the past four years, issued a statement Wednesday saying, we must begin immediately to address the significant needs and challenges facing our nation's infrastructure and create jobs. Micah stated that cutting red tape to compete stalled projects and better utilization of the federal government's assets will be his top policy priorities. West Virginia Democrat Representative Nick Rayall will serve as the TNI Committee's ranking member. Mr. Micah replaces Minnesota Democratic Representative James Oberstar, who narrowly lost his bid for re-election last month. And finally this week, Ashto issued a statement thanking President Barack Obama for continuing to shine a national spotlight on the critical issue of transportation investment. Speaking to students and faculty at Forsyth Technical Community College in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, the president shared his vision of the future. Over the last two years, our investment in infrastructure projects, yes, through the Recovery Act, have led to thousands of good private sector jobs and improved infrastructure here in North Carolina and all across the country. But, but we've got a long way to go. The president called for greater investment in America's infrastructure, roads, railways, runways, and information superhighways to create jobs and economic growth. John Horsley, Ashto Executive Director, said the kind of investment the president is calling for is best achieved through a robust multi-year highway and transit reauthorization bill. We know accomplishing this critical milestone won't be easy. However, Ashto is encouraged by the president's consistent support. The objective now will be to turn his words into bipartisan congressional action that will lead to a highway and transit bill that works for America. That's the Transportation TV News Update. Thanks for watching.